okay, the game is going pretty good. We have the situation where we can lose points if we catch a snake or gain points if we catch the cow heads. And the last piece that we need to do is figure out how to work the lives variable, right, the game lives, so that if we lose our lives, then the game is over and we go to the game over screen. So this will be the last video for this series. All right, so I'm going to go back into the code and I'm just going to put in the code that we need. First of all, when we get to the game on screen, which we have right now, I made a mistake here. We don't want to set the game lives to zero, var lives. We want to set it to three. And so we get three lives when we get to this keyframe. So now that we have the game lives, what are we going to do? Well, we're going to need to modify the cow move function. And the way it works right now, this line right here moves the cow heads down as the function is called repeatedly. And then we have two pieces. This piece right here says if the head has passed uh, point 200 falling down, then we do the collision detection. And then at the bottom it says if it's greater than if the y-axis or the cow has passed 400, then remove the cow from the game so it doesn't fall into infinity. Now I'm going to need to modify this slightly. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change this from an if to an else if, and I'm going to change the logic slightly. I'm going to say if this dot y, the cow head, is greater than or equal to 200, and double and sign this dot underscore y is less than or equal to 399. So if it's greater than 200 and less than 399, we do the collision detection. Else, if it's not, and we'll do this if statement. If the y is greater than 400, we're going to do something else. And the main thing that we're going to do is we're going to say if the cow head has fallen below the screen, lives minus minus, right? We lose a life, okay? And that's the key piece right there lives minus minus, all right? And if the lives variable, right, equals or is less than or, or equal to, let's say, zero, if the lives variable is equal to zero, right, then it's game over time. And if it's game over time, then what we want to do is we want to clear interval, we want to clear our timer, our set interval, we want to clear the interval. So what we say is drop timer. If you remember at the top of the code, we did a drop timer equals set interval. So we created this drop timer, right, that functions on an interval. And now what we want to do is if the game is over, we want to clear that interval. So it's clear interval with a capital I and then drop timer, the name of our interval that we had created. And we do that and then go to and stop. And then in between the quotation marks, the game over frame label. So if lives equals zero, we stop the drop timer and we go to the game over screen. And if the cow heads fall off the bottom, we lose a life. Now there's one problem with this. We want to say if you missed a cow, right, then you lose a life. But what about missing a snake? Missing a snake is a good thing. You don't want to catch the snake. So what we're going to do is we'll say if this dot underscore current frame, and once again this is the, the cow head or the falling objects, right? If the current frame of the falling objects is not equal to 2, meaning it's not a snake, then lives minus minus tab, if lives equal equals 0, clear the interval and go to game over. And we need another curly brace here to match this curly brace here. So we'll put that right here and that looks good. So, as soon as the objects fall off the bottom, if they are not on current frame 2, meaning not a snake, 
we, we decrement the lives, we check to see if lives is equal to zero, and basically stop the game. And this should work pretty nicely. But there is one thing that I'm seeing before I test it out, and that is when we decrement the lives, lives minus minus, and we lose a life, we never set the text box to reflect it. So we have to remember to do that. So lives underscore txt, that's our text box, right? Lives underscore txt dot text equals lives. And let's test it out. So we'll hit control enter and we'll click play and we'll catch the objects. We'll miss an object. Okay, lives equals two. I caught that one. I lose a point. I draw I, I don't catch this one and game's over. Play again. Oh, the play again button doesn't work and that's the last thing we need to do. All right. So we'll go back to the first keyframe. I'll copy the code for the buttons. Copy, that's a piece of button code basically. And go to the last frame and I'll paste it in and we'll say go to and stop game on. That's good. We just need the name of the button to make this work. And on the game over screen, the play again button is btn underscore play again. So I'll just btn underscore start. We'll just change that to play again. And now we have the code for the button. We'll test it out again. And we catch. We lose a life. We shouldn't lose a life here when the snake goes, and we didn't. But when the cow head falls, we do lose a life, and the game is over. And one thing I'm noticing here is when the game is over, I'd still like to be able to see what my score was. And you can see the score and the lives have disappeared. So I'm going to fix that, and then let's test our play again button, and it works. So to fix that, what I'll do is on the first keyframe, so what I'll do is grab these two pieces here, copy, and on the last keyframe, for some reason it's just disappearing. So we'll just paste that in there. We don't want to set lives to zero, or actually game is over, so we could have the lives, make sure the lives say lives zero on that, and just not set the score, and that way we should be able to see what our score is. So we'll try that out one more time. We'll play, and you see we have three lives, and we just lost a point, and two lives left. Let's see if we can get a few points here. Got one point, one major point, two points, and now let's say we lose the game, and you can see lives get set to zero because we've lost, but score is equal to two, and then we can play again.